What's up, you guys? Uh, my name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Birds, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is who's coming towards you, Persona Virgo. This could resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Ben Haven, or Jupiter. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is, time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, who's coming towards you for month of December 2021? Just saying. Okay. Um, free general reading. I haven't got any channeled in yet. I was getting channeled in in the other ones, um, but I haven't got any 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 in yet. Say that five say that five times fast. Just saying. Temperance upright, the sun upright. Let me see if I hear anything. A homeless person. A strung out drug addict, a grandchild, someone who's missing a front tooth. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I'm assuming that's who's coming towards you, Virgo, um, if that resonates for you. Now, one could resonate with you, two plus could resonate with you, none could resonate with you. You plug it in how it resonates. So I heard a homeless person, a, a strong out drug addict. So an active drug addict, they're strong out, like fiending. They're fiending, 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 like withdrawing. Um, who was a uh, homeless person, a strong out drug addict, um, a grandchild, and a person missing a front tooth. So you plug it in, however that resonates. A homeless person, a person currently going through withdrawals, fiending, fiending, fiending for drugs. I didn't hear what kind of drugs, but some kind of drugs. Um, I, uh, what was the other one? Um, I forget. Crap. Um, I forget. I got a brain fart. Uh, oh, a person missing a front tooth. A person missing a front tooth. And a grandchild. And a grandchild. So you plug it in, however that resonates. For some two plus grandchildren. For some two plus grandchildren. So grandchild or grandchildren. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, so temperance upright, the sun upright. And a very, very, very sexy person in a bar, but they are a huge con artist. Curly hair. Oh, that was so specific. So you plug it in how it resonates. And a very, very, very sexy person in a bar, I heard, um, if this resonates for you. Um, but beware, they're a con, con artist. They have curly hair. So they're very sexy and they have curly hair. That's who's coming towards you as well. Apparently, it sounds like you're going to meet them in a bar. Um, but they're very sexy. You're going to be very attracted to them, obviously. Um, and they have curly hair. Um masculine or femme. I feel it could be masculine or feminine energy, but you're going to be very, very, very attracted to them, Virgo. You're going to want to go talk to them. You're probably going to hang out with them. Probably going to want to boom, 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 possibly for some. But I heard basically beware they're con artists. So they're very sexy for a reason, basically. Um, they have curly hair. So whoever this person is, hopefully you can identify them in your life when you run into them in the bar, if that is your story and situation. Oh my goodness. Temperance upright, the sun upright. For some, a Scorpio. Information on a fault on false contract and documentation in the past. Okay, for some of you guys, a Scorpio, I heard, a Scorpio is coming towards you, information on a false contract and documentation in the past. So that reson that one resonates with you as a Scorpio. It could be masculine or feminine Scorpio, but they're coming towards you, it sounds like, for uh, because of information on person, people, place, family, or situation regarding um, some kind of false contract and false 
information, um, false documentation and false contract energy of the past. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, a lot, a lot of situations. Temperance upright, the sun upright. A Virgo is about to send a very large donation to a reader. In return, the reader will reach out to you. Know this. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, in the first message, that's not who's coming towards you. You're going towards the reader, but it sounds like it's about to create a energetic shift um so maybe that's why that's this is in here so you plug it in how it resonates there's millions and billions of readers in the world so whoever in the world reader you're sending a very heard a very very large donation um but it sounds like you want to send it it sounds like it's going to make you very balanced in the universe and it's going to make you happy to send it um if this resonates for you um but i heard basically um it's a very very large donation but you are about to send this very large donation to this reader. It's a tarot card reader I'm feeling. Whoever it is, it could be, there's millions and billions of tarot card readers in the world. But her's going to make you very, very happy to send it. But in return, you sending this very, very, very large donation to this reader. In return, the reader is going to reach out to you. And her is going to make you happy. So it's like an inner, it's energy sharing and shifting and money shifting and sharing and um, it's like it's, um, uh, ref, 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 how do you say it? Reprocity, 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 R-E-P-R-I-O-C-I-T-Y. Say that five times fast, just saying it. I can see it in my head and spell it, but saying it, just saying it. Reprocity, reprocity, is that how you say it? But, um, but in a positive sense, because I heard you want to do it. And it's going to leave you very balanced and leave it very happy. For some, it could be a Sag or a Leo reader that you're sending this very, very large donation to, or a Sag and a Leo reader. For some, it could be one reader. For some, it could be two plus. I heard a reader, but for some, it could be two plus, possibly. Um, but it's going to leave you very happy doing it, whatever reader this is. Um, and I heard in return, you sending this very, very large donation to this reader, it's going to have the reader reach out to you and it's going to make you happy that they're reaching out to you. Um, I'm assuming to thank you for this very, very large donation or maybe, or it, you know this person personally or you did know this person personally in the past. Possibly. That's what I'm feeling because when I get donations in, I'll tell you this, um, we're already at eight minutes, but I'll tell you this. When I get donations in through my channel, either publicly on the YouTube or privately through PayPal, I don't ever reach out to people. I don't ever reach out and say thank you. So there's a reason this person is reaching out to say thank you is what I'm trying to say. Because I've never, re I mean, I say thank you on the videos, but I don't personally reach out. Whoever this is, they're about to personally reach out to you, Virgo. So it's a big deal that they're about to personally reach out to you is what I'm trying to say. Because us as readers, we don't usually personally reach out to readers. Unless it's somebody from the past, they, they just, they really, really want to reach out to or somebody they know or something like that. I've never personally reached out to anybody that sent me a donation, is what I'm trying to say. So it's a big deal. I think that this reader is about to reach out, and I heard it's going to make you very happy. So, all right. I love you. Everybody make wonderful choices. Namaste.